Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So as you may have noticed, I am a little bit tanned. I have just returned from my holiday in Thailand where I was seeing my family for the last month. And so there had been no filming done at all. And when I started unpacking today, which when I arrived was yesterday, I received a lovely package from Suku and it's their new spring 2024 collection. So I thought the best thing to do was to get this out as soon as possible. I will be going to the counter to pick up a few more items, which is gonna be at the preview event. And I hope to share that with you before it launches officially on the 25th of January. And I believe it launches in other stores such as Harrods and Liberty on the 8th of February. So before I go into a little bit more detail, I just wanted to tell you what I had on my base. So as you can see, I have the most wonderful tan because I have been in the sun. But I wanted to show you a brand that I had used. This is a Thai brand that I found when I was out there. It's called For You To Skin and it's a CC cream and this pretty much does everything. It's a protector. It's a CC cream but is just like the perfect colour match for my tan. I purchased this and I did a buy one get one free. I've got more of these and I really want to keep using this until my tan sort of starts to subside but I wanted to show you what I've got on as a base. So this is the leaflet that came with the box and this is a Suku 2024 Spring Summer Colour Collection. In this collection there are two signature colour eyes in 134 and 135, there are two colour blushes in 146 and 147, there are three liquid lustre eyes in three different shades, ten new moisture glaze lipsticks. I've picked up the number five and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I just wanted to thank Suku again for sending me this lovely PR package. Just a little bit about the collection, Mizu no Aya. Reflecting a spring landscape, the rippling water sparkles with oozing colours while the ripples spread smoothly like a textile. Suku's new colour collection is inspired by the bliss of spring. The rich colours infused with beautiful vitality gently embrace an individual's expressions, your unique beauty and strength. Emphasising shimmer and glow with a touch of sparkle, the collection achieves a colourful and fresh look. Now what I'm going to do is when I do go into store, I'm going to try out all the shades and see which one suits me the best. I will try and swatch all of them for you and I'll try and post that in another video or as an Instagram post so you can see how the others swatch. So let's take a look at what I was gifted. So this is my Suku PR box and I just wanted to thank the Suku team for sending me the new Suku Designing Massage Cream Rinseiku Kit which is just here. I'll do a separate video of me using this cream. I've used previous ones before, I've got through them, I continuously buy them because I think this is one of the best massage creams on the market. I also get the opportunity to get a Skankin Suku massage when I'm at the counter, so this really is something I can do at home and this kit has quite a few things in it so what I'll do is a separate video on this because I just want to get into the spring summer collection first. So I have got a couple of things I wanted to show you. First of all I've been kindly gifted the eyeshadow. Now I chose this, this is the 135 Hina Tayo Ri and the reason I picked this signature colour eyes was because it's limited edition but it's really interesting the colour story so I'll show you what it looks like so you open it up and this is the one that has that sort of bluish colour and I thought for spring this would be really interesting to try so let me just show you this closely so this is what it looks like you've got this satin shade there's a sparkle shade topper and yeah you've got the Suku logo embossed there So I'm gonna quickly do a hand swatch for you now. So as you can see, this is the hand swatch. And you can see that these are a lot more cooler than previous palettes that Suku has launched. So if you're interested in like a cooler palette, I'd say this is the one to probably go for. The blue definitely looks more greyish in real life. Then you've got this kind of warm gold color and then this kind of, again, brown but a very cool brown almost like a contour brown very very cool and then this one is like a highlighter shade which has that marbling effect so i just wanted to show you these four shades so 
So I thought let's just quickly dive into it and then I'll show you what the other pieces I've been gifted are. I think I'm going to go with the cool brown shade first and I'm going to use that as a kind of base shade. So we'll go in with that first. It definitely looks a lot more cooler on the eye. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that bluish shade. So I've gone in with this shade and now I'm going to try this bluish shade here, which like I mentioned, it's definitely more of a cool blue shade. I'm going to take my brush and I'll just show you how it picks up the colour. And then I'm just going to put it on my lid. So it's definitely more cooler than I thought it was going to be, but that's nice. I do like to play with cool shades too. So I've just put it all over the eyes and I've just blended it with that brown shade. And to be honest that brown shade with the blue once blended kind of looks seamless but also looks quite similar in tone even though one's brown and one's blue. And then I'm going to take this goldish shade and I'm going to just put that just on the center of the lid. They complement each other really well once it's on the lid. There is a little bit of fallout just under with this particular gold for some reason. I've not had that happen with Suku before. I'm not sure whether it's just the formula, but it is falling out just a tad. So I'm gonna just see if I can just brush that off. So what I did off camera was that I just went in with that foundation that I bought from Thailand and I've literally just gone under and actually it's cleared up some of the fallout that came out of that shade really, really well. So I'm gonna take that highlighter shade and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eyes. I'm just going to take that shade and I'm just going to put it on the inner corner of my eyes. Just to make it pop a little bit more. It's definitely got this sort of cooling look to it, this colour story. And I'm just going to take that and put it on my brow bone. Bit there, bit there. And I feel like I want to intensify the blue a bit more. I'm going to go in with that blue just a tad bit more on my brush. And I'm just going to put that on the eyelid. And then I'm just going to put a little bit underneath. Do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to show you this in a minute on my eyes. This is the Suku Gel Eyeliner Pencil in the colour 01 Black. I was kindly gifted this. I heard that this has been given really, really good reviews. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and it's a gel liner and I'm just going to put it on my eyes with you now. What I do is just do it on my waterline just to give some definition. Okay so I've just gone away I've added some mascara and now I'm going to show you the other item I was gifted and this is one I picked which was 146 Hana Biru Kabi which is a pure colour blush. I do miss those melting colour blushes I'm not going to lie. So this is what it looks like and I'll show you up close. It's really interesting because it has like that kind of bluey shade which is like a highlighter shade on the side. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna swatch both sides for you now on my hand so you can see how it looks. So here are the two shades side by side. You've got that gorgeous kind of corally colour, which then contrasts with the light bluish colour that you see here, although it looks more white in person. And that's the highlighter and that's the blush. So 
So I have my Wayne Goss brush. I'm gonna go in with that gorgeous corally color. And then I'm gonna add that highlighter shade. So I'm gonna take my Sonia G Worker L brush for this because it's a perfect size to fit into the highlighter part. And I'm just gonna put it where I would normally put the highlighter, which is about there. And just direct it a bit more. A Little bit on my Cupid's bow, a little bit on the top of my nose and on the cheekbone, brow bone. It's a very subtle colour, but you can definitely see it there in the light as I move. They both blend together really beautifully as well. And bear in mind, my skin is very tanned and it's showing really nicely, so that's how it looks. So what I thought I'd do is, before I do my lipstick, I just wanted to show you the other piece that I've got, which is the Liquid Luster Eyes in 103. This is in Sumir Gokochi. And I like this because there was a bit of a play with the sort of cool purple tone. So I'm going to take this and then I'm gonna add it to my eye shortly. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a picture and post it on my Instagram without, and I'll do one with, so you can see how it looks like both ways. So what I'll do is show you the other item that I have been kindly gifted. As I mentioned, there are now 10 new shades of the Suku Moisture Glaze Lipstick. I decided to go with 05, which has this sort of purpley tone. And the reason I did that was because I wanted the whole look to be cool. It has its own case, so the case has to be bought separately, and then you put the refill in. Let me show you what the case looks like. It looks like this. So this is the shade I picked up. I was gonna show you how to remove this, but it seems to be stuck. <laughs> Bit of a weird one. It did go in really easily, so I'll try and add it in if I can at the end of the video of how to remove it, or else I'll do a little short for you after. But for some reason, it's not coming out now, but that's the shade. So let's put that on first. I'll do a quick hand swatch for you. So that's what the shade looks like. It's not hugely pigmented, but it feels very kind of glossy-like. Okay, so let's put this on. It does feel really, really lovely on it. The colour is stunning, really gorgeous. My lips feel very, very moisturised, so this formula is really unique and very suku in terms of how the final look looks like. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Now that I've done this, let's quickly take a picture and then I'm going to show you the Liquid Lust Eye on top and I'll give you my final thoughts. So as promised, I'm gonna now add this as a topper, which is the new Liquid Luster Eyes, and it's in 103 Limited Edition, which is Sumi Rei Go Kochi. And I'm gonna just put some on my hand and just dab it as a topper on my eye. I mean, obviously you can wear it on its own as well, but since I've got something on already, this may give it a little bit more oomph. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it directly from the applicator. This is really pretty. It adds a little bit of dimension. I'm just adding it on the ends because I've got the gold 
already. But you can see how it's just added a little bit more sort of purple to the eye. That's really cute. So it's taken that blue and then just kind of made it a little bit more deeper with the purple and just given it something extra. That's really nice, I like that. There you go. So I'm just quickly showing you the hand swatch and you can see how it just shifts and gives a lovely effect as a topper. Alternatively, you can use it on its own, but I just thought, because I've already got eyeshadow on, let's just see how it looks together, but I'm liking the effect. Very, very pretty. Okay, so that is everything. I just wanted to give you my final thoughts on these pieces. It surprised me a little bit. I think that the eyeshadow probably is a little bit light for me. I think that I'm probably better suited for a more warmer palette. Maybe the one that I'm going to pick up might be better for me. So with the colour through, I wish this one was a little bit more blue and a little bit more poppy, but it still works, but I feel as though I had to really work to get the colour out of this one and would have been nice if it had a bit more of a pop to it. This one I wish was a little bit more distinct between the two. I felt like once I started blending these two shades together that it kind of looked quite similar on my eyes so I wish they were a little bit more different. The only thing that disappointed me was that this shade had a bit of fallout which I've never seen in a Suku palette in a long time and I don't know if the formula is slightly different but I had to go in again and kind of clean that up with some foundation which was fine after I did that. This one is very nice, it's not what you think it is but when you do put it on the eyes it does make the eyes pop. So that's what I think of the eyeshadow. I don't have the other one yet so I can't compare but I certainly will give you my thoughts in comparison once I do get the other one and tell you which one I prefer. With the Pure Colour Blush I think this is a gorgeous shade, especially on my skin tone because it has that kind of corally look to it, yet this sort of highlight just kind of blends so well together and it's very subtle but works so well. So I do really like this Pure Colour Blush. I'm glad that I picked this up to show you this look. With the lip, I think that this new formula is really lovely and looks pretty glossy when you look at the screen as well. I'm excited to see the other shades, so I will try a few of those on and tell you which ones I pick up in my next video and tell you kind of why I liked those particular colours once I go in store. The eyeliner is superb. I love a good tight waterline and I think it works really well, especially for my eyes, to get into that waterline. And it is really smudge proof. Like when I put it on my hand, I couldn't even get it off. So it works and it stays, which is fantastic. So overall, I think that this collection is really how it describes it. It's this sort of soft spring look. I feel like these are very gentle, these colours. I think these colours are very suku and, you know, remind me of a little bit like a water painting. It has that kind of vibe. And if you like that, then I think this is going to really kind of tickle your fancy. Overall, thank you very much Suku for sending this. I wanted to show you as soon as possible and let you know that this is how it looks. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I have enjoyed filming it. It's been nice to get back to filming again after having a break. I feel refreshed. I feel like I'm ready to film again. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know your thoughts. Are you going to be picking anything up from this collection? I'd love to know. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.